Hello friends, welcome to Gurney with Creekside. I am Jenny and welcome to uh, this week's nursery tour. So for those of you maybe that are relatively new to the channel in the last couple of months, we haven't done a lot of nursery tours because it has been winter time. But just to give you an idea of kind of the format of these videos, we of course are Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. We are both a grower and a retailer. So we grow the vast majority of our own plants and we are going to be opening for our season opener this Saturday. That is February the 19th. I had to think about what the date was. February the 19th from 9 to 3. For right now, we're only going to be open on Saturdays from that 9 to 3. As the season progresses, we will open up some more days. But we do these nursery tours to show um, what is growing, blooming, and thriving here at the nursery in, quote, real time. So if you are local, somewhat local, or you are planning a visit to Creekside Nursery, you can watch these nursery tours and know what kind of plants, what kind of inventory you can expect to see when you come see us because we do these every week. We, these are not like huge, massive, in-depth, plant-specific, detailed videos. These are like the big picture to give you an idea. So if you see a plant that I'm talking about and you're interested in it, just hop online, throw that name into the Google search, and um, it will tell you everything you need to know that I didn't tell you. So with that being said, you understand kind of the format of these videos. We have been working our little honeys off the past couple of days. Um, today is Saturday and this video is going to go out on Monday morning. I'm trying to keep everything straight and we have been working, working, working to get things ready. We're still not officially ready. Uh, there's still a lot of kind of odds and ends things to do, but a lot of things have been done that we are excited to show you. So. Come on, um, of course, if you were, I think we talked about it in one of the videos about, or social media, we were trenching for the fiber optic line and electrical line, so that has been cleaned up. We're getting the barn ready, and so the big thing today, one of the big tasks that we did was we revamped this area where the fertilizers and the, all the supplies are. So if you have been to Creekside, you know what the big difference is here. We got some great shelving. All of the tones are nice and organized. The Proven Winners is all nice and organized. All of um, the Proven Winners potting soil, land and sea compost is ready. We've got the pine bark finds and then the black gold organic mixes are all here available. Now, this is, this, this is not the only palettes of the things that we have. We've got lots of things available. So don't look at this small little stack of land and sea and kind of freak out. We have got plenty of palettes for you. So when you come, we have got all sorts of great soil amendments and all the things that you need to take care of to have a great garden um, for this year. So we have all of that around is available. Somebody was asking me, you know, when do you get your Espoma products in? They're here, they've been here. We are good to go. So we are excited about that. Um, let's see, now moving on into the greenhouse. Before we get to the greenhouse, you will notice probably that Jerry just a couple of minutes ago was uh, appearing to make a mess. Sometimes you have to make it look a little messy to make it beautiful. So we have two very fun, exciting projects that we are going to be doing. I'll give you just an overview, but basically we're going to turn these two grassy areas into flower beds. So we have very specific special plans for these beds, but just know that these are going to be gorgeous um, display beds that are going to provide you tons of inspiration. So when you come, if you don't know what you want to do in your yard, hopefully this will help give you some answers. And so what he has done is just scraped off the top layer of to remove the grass because this is perennial grass. We need to get rid of it. Um, so we're going to get just take the top of it off because even if we were to use any kind of like herbicide that the temperatures are not here to kill it, we need it gone right away. So we physically removed the grass and then we will come back and amend it, till it all in, and then we can plant in it. Uh, so when you come, you'll see some things. We're not gonna actually plant this though, probably for a little bit of time. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and mulch it. It'll look neat and tidy. 
So just to give you an idea of what's happening there. Then in the greenhouse, the fans are running. So if you hear a hum, it's just the, it is just the fans that are running. Um, yeah, so of course the birdhouses are all available. Remember the birdhouses are for customers who come to the nursery. If you are not able to come to the nursery and you want to purchase a birdhouse, Creekside is not shipping, but Hartwood, who makes these beautiful uh, birdhouses, they do ship. So you can go to Hartwood's website, it's in the video description. You can go directly to their website and order and they will send them to you very happily. Uh, but I mean, they're just, ah, man, they're gorgeous. And then the plants are coming along. We are seeing some beautiful growth on them. Everything is, you know, progressing as it should. Here we have the beautiful, the Goldilocks rocks. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Now these are all annuals that are in here right now. So these are all annuals, beautiful. We've had honeybees come visit us because the sides are open, the doors are open, and the honeybees have been coming. Oh, here we go. Here's the first, this is the first of the Bright Lights Osteo. This is the pink, so Osteo Spurnum. And then look at the difference between the pink and the purple. See those two together? Now, me personally, I think they would be gorgeous in a container together. Can you imagine putting those two colors together? You could just do like put those in a container by themselves. You know, you don't need anything else and it would be absolutely stunning. So they are doing well. The double moon glow, of course. Now these are more of the um, cool weather plants, these osteos. So that's why they're blooming a little bit more than say like the petunias are. So you have the double moon glow, that's the lighter. And then you have the yellow, that's obviously the darker. So just gorgeous. I'm trying to see what else we may have. Where does this go? Uh, that are blooming. Everything else is growing really nicely. Um, we got the rest of the shelving put up. I don't know if we had showed you that. So this will mainly hold one gallon material. So we'll have like one gallon petunias. Like for example, you know, the coleus and the salvia, that's a one gallon. So these will fit perfectly on here. Nice, big, wide areas for people to walk. Come on around here. Um, when the side is all the way up, so like for example, we'll, we'll turn without trying to make you too dizzy. But you see that that's how the curtain, when it's fully extended, that's how tall it is. So that's a, a good, I don't know, nine feet easily. And then this curtain is not all the way up, but when it is all the way up, customers will be able to come in and out both sides, you know, to go in the greenhouse, out of the greenhouse, because the pergola shopping area is just right there. We won't make Jerry duck underneath there, though, with the camera. Oh, <gasps> look, we have some super bells blooming. So this is Coral Sun. Look at that. That was a nice little surprise. Good doing it. Jerry's trying to get it just right. Yeah. Sometimes it's not as easy working a camera trying to zoom in on a flower as one might think. And then Superbell's yellow. This one's really getting ready to pop. It's got lots of little buds on it. Superbell's yellow is one of our most popular hanging baskets to sell because it has just that massive amount of just solid yellow blooms. So pretty. And then the guara is coming along quite nicely. This is the Caroly Petite Pink. If you're looking for a nice, wispy, airy plant that just continues to bloom, butterflies love this. Um, and this is actually a perennial for us. We sell it as an annual, but it is a perennial in zones six to 10. Um, I have this, I think I have the stratosphere that's planted in the patio. But if you buy it as an annual, you can move it out and um, have it as a perennial. So moving on over, not too much has changed um, out here. 
In the pergola area, this is one area we've not gotten to um, to tidy up. Obviously, we're missing the tables here, so we've got to put the um, irrigation heads back on. If you remember, Jerry and Andrew, <coughs> excuse me, we had to bring the propane tanks back behind the greenhouse, and in order to get them in, they had to move the tables and then cut the irrigation. So where you see the orange cones, that's where the irrigation goes. So this is PVC that we painted black. It goes in. This is what I just call a whirly gig. It spins, the water goes out, falls like rain. And so we have tables that will go here. Um, so those have got to be put back in place. Uh, but yeah, so let's move over here because I do want to show you, we have got some plants waking up over here in the perennial pine area the pines the pines we say um so this is a great time when you come to the nursery this is what you're going to be shopping for you're going to be shopping for shrubs and any trees and um, perennials you're not going to be shopping for annuals not in february you're going to have to wait a little bit you can go in there and you can look at them and you can admire them but don't buy them because you'll buy them a second time. <laughs> They're not going to make it. So we still have over here, I was going to show you, Christine and I were over here yesterday trying to clean up and, you know, sticks that fall from the pine trees and get things organized. But we have got hostas that are starting to wake up. This is Maui buttercups. Now, it clearly got zapped by some cold temperatures, but we have got growth coming in, popping up. Some of them are starting to wake up. So the Maui buttercups, this is Elegons. Elegons has some green in it. So you can go ahead, now is a great time, especially here in the South, to go ahead and buy your perennials, buy your hostas. Um, this is when we will have probably our best selection is this time of year for these things. You go ahead and buy them, get them home, put them in the ground, the containers, wherever you're going to put them, and they will do great. They are very cold tolerant. Your ferns and your hostas are extremely cold tolerant. So our winters for them are nothing. So for example, this is Godzilla, and Godzilla is a giant Japanese painted fern. It's beautiful. It's hardy in zones three to eight. So our zone seven winter is nothing for this thing. So it just had a nice little winter's slumber. You get it home, it gets a little bit of warm temperatures in it, and it's going to wake up just wonderfully well. Um, so let's see. Oh, oh, what was I going to show you? Oh, speaking of this. So we haven't gotten our um, order of peonies in yet, but we had three peonies left over from last year. And when I was over here yesterday, because, you know, pine needles were covering everything, and I came to this peony and I was cleaning up off the pine needles. Can you see this? All three of the peonies that overwintered are starting to wake up. So, you know, this is like what we call, you know, first spring, false spring. It, there's a definite different feel in the air around here. Um, I'm sure we'll have, we'll go back and we'll have another cold snap. That's why I say you're not going to buy your annuals. It's going to turn cold again, but this definitely, there is a spring fever in the air. And when we were, we were working today and I think we had like, what was it? Four or five customers show up and thank y'all. See you next week. <laughs> So there, there's, spring is in the air. There's one other thing that I want to, well, there's a lot of things that I could show you. Um, but this is a great time to get your Lenten roses, your hellebore. Um, we've got shrubs and we've got tons and tons of hostas. I'm looking around. I mean, everything's in a black pot right now. Um, you don't see any foliage, right? But, so we've got all sorts of things like that for you that you can go ahead and come shop. But we need to have a moment, a serious moment here. All right, I'm standing here in front of what the unique stone that we have left over from our last order, whenever it came in. So these are the pieces that we have left. There's a couple that have been sold. They're marked and they're not for sale. But we have talked about this before. You know how much we love unique stone, both their products and them as a company. 
and if you've been around us for any kind of length of time you know that we place orders with them every couple of months this last order due to supply shortages staffing issues and just massive orders that had been coming in they were just they had more business than they could handle in a timely fashion right it all happens growing pains so our order took a long time to get here so we have an order that is set to arrive sometime in april we'll see if it comes in april sometime in april i have until the end of this month so i have until the end of february to add additional items to that april order i was talking with sweet amy at unique stone who takes amazing care of us and because of those things that i mentioned massive amounts of orders coming in supply issues and staffing issues they are solid booked through 2022 so they are not accepting any new orders for the rest of this year so the next order we can get after this april order will be 2023 so if you want a specific item from unique stone and you are either local or willing to drive to us you need to email me today when you see this video you need to email me i will give you a quote you can tell me if you want it i will send you an invoice and you pay for it i will add to that order till february 28th for everyone that has paid an order other than that you're going to have to wait till 2023. Um, we will go ahead and order a bunch of additional things obviously to have here at the nursery but if you know specifically i want a forest gnome in sienna red then you need to contact me to ensure that you reserve your forest gnome in sienna red and that you get it this year hopefully that makes sense so email me my email is in the video description go there send me an email i will give you a quote you tell me that you you want it i will send you an invoice you pay it you're on the order okay february 28th i cannot add to it after that um so it kind of makes me hyperventilate a little bit because i have to then think okay what what do our people want for the rest of the year because of course i will add to the order things to have at the nursery but i understand but on the other hand i'm like Hur! so if you want something send me an email uh, with that being said some items that we do have left here this is the charleston basket boy now this one is sold so you can't have this one but this is a really really popular one so the charleston basket boy um he's about i don't know what three feet maybe um really sweet this is the age stone so there's six different um finishes that the pieces can come in each one is handmade each stain is hand done so this is the charleston basket boy in the age stone like we have the weston urn in the age stone um there's you just go to unique stones website go to unique stones website they'll have all the different products on there but like this is what i was telling you like this is the cute little forest gnome he's little but he's he is solid so the forest gnome um all the different planters some of my favorites are these hummingbird planters so there is the square hummingbird planter and there is the um, rectangle love both of these they are beautiful and they are just the detail on them is fantastic um, so this is all that i have right now like i said the order is supposed to arrive sometime in april honestly i wouldn't be surprised though if it's delayed just because of the size of this order and the time of year so we're just going to play it by year and we're going to be excited about um what comes when it comes jerry was pointing me to something mulch. oh mulch let's go to the mulch mountain so we just got an order of mulch so these are for our our local people if you need mulch for your landscape jobs right your projects at home we have got some fantastic mulch. This is mulch that we use um, in our own home and our projects here at the nursery. It is a great product. You can tell we, <laughs> it looks like we have a ton and we do have a ton. This is a tractor trailer load. They come and they, I mean, it's like a long 18 wheeler and it just dumps it out. 
So if you're local and you need some, just um, come, come to us on Saturdays. We'll ring you up. Jerry will load you up um, with mulch. So we've got fresh mulch available. But everything, like I said, everything's kind of starting to wake up. It's very exciting. I know that for a lot of you who are not in the South, you're still buried under snow. You can live vicariously through us for the next coming weeks. And we're happy to share some green and chirping birds and spring is in the air. But again, we're excited to see you. It's hard to believe that it's already the 2022 season. It's here, it is upon us, and we are excited. So we look forward to seeing you. Beginning now is only on Saturdays, nine to three. As we go through the season, of course, we'll add to those days. Stay tuned to all of our social media platforms because we will have those hours updated there. But as always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. Don't forget to send me those unique stone quotes and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great day. Bye friends.